Welcome to 790. It's 25 degrees outside. He's got the noisiest door opener in the world. And uh, since it's under 30, we have to jump the Mercedes. <laughs> The 9 volt that Daimler Benz decided to put in here doesn't really work if it's sub 50 or something like that. So now we gotta push it out in the driveway and start it with the Cadillac. Okay, we can't get it in neutral because the battery's dead. Key on and it's stuck in park. There's no way to get it in neutral. There's absolutely no power. It's like a 540 battery situation. So here's how the battery comes up in a smart car. You rip the car painting up. Then there's this thing with the tow hook that could, I don't know, lift my trunk lid and a tire compressor. And there would be the battery. It's a power volt, um, 12 volt, 61 amp hour. I don't see a cold cranking amp specification on it down there. But obviously, here's our positive. Move these wires around. And uh, we'll see if we can get this thing started. It's going to be tight. Going to have to move it up a little bit. All right, it's on. Terminals are connected. Yep, try it. it. Probably will need a few minutes to sit and think. We'll find out. The joys of a Mercedes. Any lights yet? No, no, no lights. We'll probably need a few minutes. We'll have to try the new ones. It's a BMW F10 i <laughs> Let me just admire that ass real quick. Look at those incredible LED tail lights. Hella, sealess, beautiful. If mine are a couple hundred bucks a piece, let's say 750 for a set for an E39, I bet those are about 750 a piece. And notice the LED turn signals and the LED bar is now on the top of the rear window instead of on the bottom, kind of closer to the trunklet. I think that actually changed in the E46 for BMW in what, about 2000? one-ish, I don't know. There was a beautiful uh, new 550 with the M Sport package on it in black. It just looked incredible, but I didn't get my camera out in time. Of course, it's not really that special. It's just a 550, and for Hudson, they're all over the place, but that was a perfect example of an F10, uh, non-real M spec. But now, I can tell by the taillights, back to that conversation, we are following an Audi S5, or A5, which are all over the place in Hudson. There are more black S5s than Honda Accords. That may be a stretch, but they're everywhere, and I see some very blue 7,000, 8,000K xenon bulbs in that Cadillac SRX. In typical German Hudson fashion, we just saw an E46 M3 pass to my uh, my port side. Looking really nice, those four exhaust tips lit up in my tail eyes. Man, that thing's beautiful. Welcome back. It's uh, 20 to 3 in the morning again. Kenan was over. We watched a bunch of stuff on Science Channel and HD Theater. And uh, it was really dark, so none of that got filmed because, as I saw in yesterday's vlog, the flip sucks with light. So really good Saturday, all in all. Um, I'm running on like four hours of sleep, so I'm going to go up and crash for a while, and that's it. So uh, we ended up never, we didn't get the smart car started. We got it connected with the, the cables, and the Cadillac is making power at that hub. Okay, the power's getting to the car, and we can't even get any lights on, even after letting it charge for like a half hour. So... He's going to call AAA out Monday and see what the hell's wrong with that. It's Mercedes products. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys on Sunday. Thanks for watching.